absolutely really really lovely to uh, to see some of the um, riders from Spain there also getting a shot because the team is based in Spain the uh, Sav team well this might be what the H insurance our quick step team is hoping for there is uh, Audrey Cordon Rago a perfect job at a national jersey although the rules from the French Cycling Federation are pretty strict when it comes to their national jersey because uh, well if a French rider were to race for UAE they would not get away with their standard uh, UAE setup because the French Federation would just not allow it final 4.4 kilometers meaning that we have one cobalt sector left and and everybody just wants to be at the front for that final right hand turn that we're going into the lovely named <laughs> Rue du Bellevue because it's anything but a Bellevue it's it's some of the worst cobbles you can imagine and um, basically behind a farm and in recent years we had mud and we also had um, manure on the side of the road <laughs> on that particular stretch <laughs> how, of road how wonderful how, how wonderful. Id idyllic idyllic racing here but today it's we have nice dry roads for the final 4k it's also got a, a bit of a gradient onto that, that sector as well, 2%, 3% of a gradient. They do have a tailwind on that cobble sector, only 500 meters long, three-star sector. This is that uh, pinch point, the left and then the right. We'll we have, have um, an attack here from Megan Armitage, the uh, Irish rider on the uh, Arkea Pro Cycling team. She tries a little bit of an attack there. We have seen so far on the cobalt sectors that the peloton completely, um, yeah, falls to pieces there. So this might be a little bit too early to put on attack. We have HPH, but yeah, Human Power Health, they have lost their prime sprinter, but they do have um, Marjolein van het Geloof still there. And, and Alice, Alice Barnes. Barnes. <laughs> and Alice Barnes, indeed. You, you, you can see Alice Barnes just patrolling things in the orange kit with the orange helmet at the moment with Marjolein van Gelov just on the wheel. So they're going into a, a great position. They're going to turn left here. It's going to be a double left-hander. Then they'll make that right-hand turn into the cobble sector. That will take them to two kilometers to go onto that tailwind sector. And then they'll make a right turn at the top onto a bigger, wider road. Jaco Alula, it looks like uh, their dedicated sprinter is going to be Roseman Gannon. Or is it Pater Nostad? I think it's Roseman Gannon. The, um, the images are just, <laughs> are just as bumpy as the road at times, but also very well organized are you know X with Eleanor Barker in their rank. This is our lovely Rue de Bellevue. And of course you have to stay, well, Riding cobbles, of course, is all about staying in the middle as much as you can because uh, that site is not game, going to give you a lot of help. And all the way from the front now to the back is uh, Megan Armitage who put on that attack. But the attacks come from UAE Team ADQ. They have, of course, Marta Bastianelli still in their ranks, who arguably is the fastest rider left here. But this is... Um, this is Marta Bastianelli herself. She's just not waiting for, for any sprint she's just just going for it the former world champion but this might be a little that that those barriers it's very rough. Not lovely yeah it's it's very rough you can see where they put the barriers to stop the riders going on the uh non-cobbled part of the road you can see it almost the cobble sector is only around a car width wide maria julia confanieri of uno x pro cycling in the yellow has managed to get to the wheel of uh, marta bastinelli and just look how rough this cobble these cobbles are they're anything but beautiful here audrey cordon rigo taking a very nice line across this sector there is myeline van kelhoff ruby roseman gannon just struggling a little bit with that sector and dropped from uh, the first group is Alice Barnes, sadly. Meaning that we have two riders left, Maria Giulia Convalonieri and Marta Bastianelli. I think they were teammates in the past, even. Well, this is a lovely lead from the two Italians after that cobbled sector, but still two kilometers to go. And if they can get a chase organized behind, well, they still might catch these two. But that was such a smart move there from Marta Bastianelli.
very, very smart. And these two Italians now, they need to have some cooperation together. They need to get that cohesion because what they have now is who's going to do the chasing from behind where many teams, their, their domestiques have done all of their work. They're dropped, they've dropped their leader off. For example, Alice Barnes, she's done her work for Marjolein Van Gelof now, and Van Gelof is, is on her own. So these two riders, if they can keep this cohesion, keep this cooperation, they could go all the way to the finish. The wind coming onto the left-hand shoulder of these riders at the moment. The motorbike is keeping clear there on the right, but look at the gap they have already on the peloton. This is absolutely stunning. It's AG Insurance uh, Sudol Quickstep there at the front. They have uh, a few riders together with Phoenix, um, Phoenix de Koning and um, FDG Suez, of course, uh, controlling the moves there for UNOX. A great ride today by uh, Anna Dorte Usland, but these riders are going to sprint for the win. We are going towards the final kilometers here, the final kilometer in the streets of Dur with um, a, a double world champion, a winner of the uh, Tour of Flanders. Uh, she had a fantastic season a couple of years ago. Wanted to retire last year, but said, I'm just going to ride one more year and look at that. She's in a winning position yet again, but do not underestimate Maria Giulia Confalonieri. She's the queen of top 10 placings. The peloton, it looks close from this shot, but it's nothing. It's, it's, it's nothing. It's not close at all, actually. It's really, really far, Hannah. It is. When you get to around 500 meters to go, you get to a pinch point which will favor this duo out front as opposed to the larger peloton because it really is a squeeze. And for these two riders, uh, for Maria Giulia Confanieri, we shouldn't underestimate her. She's been a double European champion in the points race on the track mm. and she takes a look behind her now and she, she's certainly going to give Marta Bastianelli a run for her money because it's been over 200 days since she last had a victory. She wants this one. <laughs> Yeah, her last victory was actually last year. Also here in Belgium, her only victory to date uh, on the road, that is, like you said, Hannah, she's a prolific track racer. But let's get back to this interesting uh, sprint at the front. In the yellow and red, it's Maria Giulia Convolunieri. And in the colors of UAE Team EDQ, it's Marta Bastianelli. Two very experienced riders. Marta Bastianelli, she wants to sprint from second place. Look at the facial expression there for Maria Giulia Convolunieri. Had a, a few good sprints as well in the UAE Tour with some top tens there as well. But Marta Bastianelli is just lurking like a shark in the water there behind the back of Maria Giulia Convolunieri. And she's going to launch her sprint with just under 150 meters to go. Bastianelli, she has the class, and Convalonieri gave everything, and Bastianelli wins this race after a really, really smart move on the Rue de Bellevue. And then the peloton sprint is won by one of the riders of FDG Suez. Might be Gladys Verhulst there winning.